All right, Marcus, what do you know about towns on the Mediterranean? Do you know any of them? I spent a little bit of time in Italy, and we've okay. hit some coastal towns. Me and the wife, that was like, I was supposed to uh, propose to her there, and I got so nervous that I proposed before we went on the oh, trip, okay. because I didn't, I didn't want to mess it up, I didn't want to mess up the trip. So we celebrated our engagement there. Well, this one is influenced by your trip to the Cinque Terre. You guys come right back. Up next is our Instant Pot Mediterranean Chicken. Get after it. Show me what uh, this, these are. Some ingredients that we picked out, and yeah, I think they all kind of go to really well together. I mean, these weren't like inner uh, ingredients that I like had in my repertoire before meeting my wife, but she's like, this is totally inspired by her, and okay. she loves these ingredients all together. And so, um, crazy thing is that like my daughter loves like olives and capers and like okay. salty things. Like yeah. she can't get enough of it, so this works for us. So, and she got that from your wife. I take yeah. it she did, yeah. <laughs> All so, right, well you, maybe you could season the, do you want to season the chicken a little bit and, yep. and get that going and then I'll cut, I was thinking of just slicing these lemons and throwing them in. Totally, so like yeah. fair. What an amazing place, right? The Cinque Terre. Yeah, it was pretty incredible. And you know, we were there, we had like two and a half days, I think, and uh, my wife was like all excited to go out in the water and to get into the ocean. And, it was like raining and pour, like oh. drizzly, and but we still had a great time. So we just didn't get in the water very much. <laughs> so do you want to kind of layer it? I think you were saying yeah, layer it in there. Throw yeah, some. your man Trevor had a good idea about keeping some veg on the bottom to layer that. Yeah, maybe go with chicken next, and then we'll yep. Blow. Is that a good overhead, Jesse? Capers. Plus a couple bay leaves. You got a couple here. bay leaves. There's a lot of controversy about the bay leaf here. Yeah, we were talking. <laughs> this is another one that my wife definitely introduced to me. She's like, yeah, put bay leaf in everything. Oh. And my and I won't do the whole story, but my dad has a, a great story about bay leaves that he tells every time we have okay. like, you know, holiday di dinner around like he puts bay leaf in his uh his meatball recipe. Oh. And um He's a radiologist, so okay. there was a guy that came in that was like having this thing that he was like, I got this thing stuck in my throat, I choking all the time, he's like coughing up this thing, and yeah. they looked on the on the x-rays, they looked on all these different images, they never found anything, like this guy's just got, he's, he's in his head about it, and then <laughs> about to send the guy home with nothing like done, yeah. and as he's walking out, he, <clears throat> he starts coughing, and a bay leaf shoots out, lands on the table, and like the doctors are like, wait, what? Like, how do we not see the bay leaves? So definitely want to make sure you take the bay leaves out. Oh, don't, yeah. don't go ahead and eat that. At they the don't show up on an x-ray, is that <laughs> kind of what we're getting at? Exactly. Oh, I love it. Um, how about, what I was thinking is maybe just hit a little bit. A little bit how extra about that. salt? Like, do you think we're gonna have enough salt in there? Or? I think with the olives and oh, yeah. the capers, it'll be probably perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. And then basil, we have this just sitting around. You don't have to do that, but we yeah. figured. Let's put a little bit in. Throw a little bit. It's a good overhead picture, if nothing else. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so lid on, we go in 35 minutes again. Is that what we'll Yeah, let's do the with? same. Let's keep it simple. I don't like to make it too complicated on myself and the family when we're prepping right. for the week, so that'll work. Trying to figure out different programs for different, just yeah. 35 and done. Yeah. All right, cool. We're gonna let that cook, you guys, and we'll show you how it turns out. Let's do it, bud. Crack okay. that open. Yep. And we'll see, uh, how does it look? It looks, Ooh. it looks really good. Looks tender. This is our Mediterranean chicken. Yeah. And we're gonna try to get it onto this platter without. It's a dangerous proposition, apart. but we're gonna do it. We're going for it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what I can do here. I can feel it, I can feel it. And we nailed it. There's a little, there's a wing. We lost a wing. We lost a wing. We lost a wing. We'll put okay. that right there. Yep. And then what are we thinking? We'll get, just strain that stuff and. Yeah, I think just with this spoon. On over. We can start to put this stuff around it. You got the artichokes, artichokes. and the olives and watch out for the, the bay leaves. Yeah. Got to make sure we fish those out. That's the first, first time part. doing a whole chicken in that thing. And it came this out great. It turned out. Yeah, I, you, I mean, if we peeled into it right now, it would just pop right on. 
Yeah, we'll just we're gonna save this for what? Once we start divvying stuff up, then we'll exactly, do that. We'll yeah. just pull our pull stuff out. Pull stuff out. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. So uh, Marcus and I, this, well, this was inspired by Cinque Terre, wasn't Cinque it? Cinque Terre like and my wife's favorite little flavor combination okay. right here. And then we also got out of this the bay leaf. Uh, yeah, the bay leaf story. Radiologist. That's right. <laughs> All right, you guys. If your kids won't eat this, make sure to give them a licking. This has been our Mediterranean chicken. <laughs>